Hi, I'm Mike with Alaska Water Conditioning to talk about when you run into a salt bridge or to check for a salt bridge. When you have your brine tank, if you look in there, usually there's some level of salt in there. Uh, what you want to check is hit on the side or push on the side to see if, it's, if it moves. If it's really, really firm and hard like cement, then there's a good indication that you have a salt bridge. And what you would do is you take the cover off, you take two or three gallons of cold water, it should be cold, not hot water, and you pour it over top of the salt. What you'll see is there's a cavity underneath that was created from the salt bridge, and when the water hits that, it'll cave in. And if that happens, that means when the unit was regenerating, it wasn't getting the salt brine it needed to regenerate and clean the resin. So once you get the salt bridge fixed, then you want to come to the conditioner and give it a good cleaning by taking the front cover off, off the two screws here, and to manually backwash the system is the inside dial. The outside dial is the time of day. It says time of day. You want that to be lined up for the correct time of day. Internally, it's set for 2 a.m. So you're just telling it what time of day, like your alarm clock or your clocks in your house. So now that you have the salt bridge broke down, then you can take the inside dial and turn it clockwise real slow until you hear that first click. It'll start flushing right away, and it'll go through the whole cycle, backwash, brine and rinse, rapid rinse, brine refill, and back home. It takes about an hour and ten minutes just to let it go through a complete cleaning cycle, and it'll release that to its gallon capacity again. In the event you go a little too far, I'll show you what that looks like. I'm just fast cycling it. In the event you go too far, There's pins on the back that push a micro switch down, and that's what starts the backwash. Sometimes, the first time you do it, you go a little too far. You go like that. Nothing happened. Because those pins fall off the micro switch. So in order to go home, there's a little raised dot here. You go all the way around, you'll feel it fall into a slot, and it'll be right lined up with the time of day. And now you can try it again and go slow to that first place. Let it go through the whole cycle. Now I'm just going to go home. And that's how you fix the salt bridge. You fix the salt now, check it every now and then. If you have in floor heat, sometimes it's a good idea to put a piece of blue board underneath it so the brine water is not warmed up from the in floor heat. But just check it. It's better to keep it half full of salt than topping it off all the way to the top constantly. It's much more likely. And don't mix the pellets with the crystals. Uh, it's okay to use either one, but we don't recommend that you mix the two. And that's how you fix the salt bridge. If you have any questions, you can stop by our office or give us a call. Uh, we'd be happy to help you out.